The last thing before we go, childhood dreams unlocked. Steve Kornacki is beloved in this building and on your TV screens, and lately all of his TikTok groupies. But before he had the big board at 30 Rock, he had a very different studio back in the 90s. He shared it all with Seth Meyers last night. Watch this. You mentioned you were interested in this at a young age, and by the way, everybody laughed. I think they believe you, but <laughs> I also want to point out uh, you have brought uh, video evidence. Oh, this, right. is, uh, th was, this is <laughs> local access television? Somebody dug this up. Uh, yeah, I, at my high school in Massachusetts, there were, there were two kids. They hosted a, uh, a comedy show yeah. on the public access channel, which is in the basement of our high school. And they asked me to sit down and just do like a commentary on this. I think it was the 94 election. And I realized when they aired, <laughs> they, they thought, I'm just playing it straight. Yeah. They figured it was so boring, it would be funny. That, <laughs> that was I said, no, like, I, when, like, when you go back and you watch people from high school, it's always fascinating to see how they turned out. Yeah. You have been the straightest line of anybody I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I can't. From who you were last night to who you are here. Take a look. As mandated by the Constitution, 33 seats, or one-third of the Senate, will be up for re-election in 1994. Since it would be impractical for me to go over each race, I'll only go over a few of the highlights this year. The Senate balance is 56-44 for the Democrats as of this moment. It is highly plausible that the Republicans can take over the Senate for the first time since 1986. That's all for now. There's other races. Perhaps another time I'll talk about more. <laughs> And one day I'm going to have a giant map. It is actually impossible to not love Steve Kornacki. A younger version of our dear friend Steve takes us off the air tonight.